Welcome back uh, this is Sachin again. Actually, this is going to be a very short uh, information about this utility which I care. I just want to share with you guys. <clears throat> so at times, um, we uh, might have to push some information into Kafka topics. And especially when I uh, work in streams, um, I want some kind of a continuous a stream of data um, in some interval, let's say one second each um, between each records. I want to push some information into um, my Kafka topic. So basically this utility uh, is for that. You can push some, uh, let's say CSV file uh, into the Kafka topic. I'll just quickly show how it works. So these are like clone it, go inside the pro project and put some alias. So right now there is nothing in my folder. I'm gonna put that and uh, you can use this alias. However, uh, it comes with some help manager if you want to see uh, what all other options it has. Uh, B stands for build the Docker image. As already mentioned here, this is a one-time command and you don't need it um, further. But as long as you have JDK and Maven installed, this will build it from source and create this Kafka stream project colon v1 image. All right, uh, so I see this build is successful. Um, so this image is built and um, um, what I'm gonna do here is basically already I have a, a CSV file included as part of this code base, but feel free to put any kind of a CSV file into this. It need not to follow um, any kind of a convention. Um, doesn't need to be like um, ID, department ID name already. It could be like any generic uh, CSV file. All right, um, so let's push that. Okay. So by the way, uh, before doing this, if we see uh, .ks-h option, um, these are uh, the parameters or options you can pass. There are some optional and then some required. So whatever CSV file you want to push in your topic is the required field, provide that file with the hyphen F option. Uh, hyphen S for Kafka brokers, if you have uh, Kafka server running in localhost 9092, um, feel free to give hyphen S and whatever uh, um, host and port for Kafka. And similarly, another required field is topic name. Whatever topic you want to uh, push that information that you can pass via hyphen T option. Um, just a small recap. Um, um, I'll be putting a link as well, but uh, how to set up a Kafka uh, cluster in your Kubernetes uh, uh, environment um, that you can follow. But just to let you know that I have um kafka deployed into kubernetes yeah, i find kafka in the kafka namespace uh yeah, that's deployment patch levels okay so my kafka cluster three node cluster is up and running um in fact um you guys can okay this is here and for a kafka drop okay so i can actually monitor my kafka cluster uh, basically, if you guys want, um, just follow my previous tutorial I created how to run um, Kafka cluster in Kubernetes, but it's a matter of like um, Kubernetes samples, yes. This is the project. I'll put this link as well, um, Kafka. Basically, if you execute this script once you have your Oracle virtual box, this will set up a three node cluster and you can, it will also deploy a Kafka drop um, out of the box and then you can monitor your Kafka cluster um here uh, these are my three nodes uh, with the broker ids and right now there's only one i uh, topic which exists so let's get back and push some information into my kafka topic uh, meantime let me okay it also comes with a hyphen x option which will basically yep hyphen x option or which will print the extended help. So basically, Kafka hyphen H is the usual help. And here you see what all options supports, hyphen X for extended help. So let's see uh, what hyphen X says. Okay, these are some basic commands. Basically it says, go inside the pod and execute these commands uh, to basically um, create a topic or describe a topic or list topics and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, let me first, go inside the pod inside the Kafka and um, 
I want to put a console consumer for my topic, um, which is here, right? Right now, this topic is not there. Uh, that's what we see in our Kafka drop. We refresh it, there's no topic with this name. Put the command, press enter. All right, uh, you see leader not available because this by this time when I put this command, uh, it was not there, but now it will have, it would have created that topic. Let me refresh it once again and see my topic is here. However, there's no data here. You can see view, view message, no record found over here. However, I just prefer to post, put a console consumer because uh, you can see how the data is like flowing through. Now, the last and main piece for which I'm creating this small info tutorial is to basically push your data into this topic um, in the time in the time difference you want for each record. So again, going back here, uh, the help option so shows what required fields uh, like the file option, the topic option, and there is an optional command for delay. If you don't give a delay, it will take by default, I think a second or two, um, it will be in the script. But if you want to pass your delay between each record, um, override that option with hyphen D command. So let's use that. So KS hyphen um, file. Uh, so let's file should be already included here um, in the source main data company data and department or CSV. So I'm going to use that hyphen T topic. I will give the same topic, my topic. So I can see my console consumer printing some information. Um, that's pretty much. These are the only two required field. However, let me give a delay of let's say three seconds. So I'll give 3000 milliseconds. My, uh, it will automatically connect to my Kafka uh, brokers, which are running in VM Minikube 30092 port. However, if you are running, running in localhost 9092, you can actually provide with hyphen S option, but uh, it's again optional. Um, so I will give the host and port information of Kafka, which I have. So mini cube three double zero nine two um m hyphen mini cube three double zero nine three um it's not needed to give all three as long as one is reachable it'll um find out all others but that's okay nine four and that's pretty much so yep it prints this information like and then it will start pushing the data every um, three seconds. Yeah. And we see the department data has started being pushed uh, into your Kafka topic uh, in a time difference of three. Let's say if you want to work on a streaming project and let's say you want to aggregate and you really want a faster data, um, just feel free to tweak this value. So instead of three minutes, I'm just going to give 500 uh, milliseconds so it will push the information as a, a little faster yeah so now we see um, every half seconds uh, the data is pushed which is there in your CSV file and uh, this is just an example uh, whatever uh, as long as it's CSV file uh, whatever headers, uh, this will work because it will convert it into a JSON record by record and push that JSON into this topic. That's it. Thank you.